Hi guys, it's me, Marcy. Uh, I'm all gussied up tonight because I'm going to a concert soon and I really wanted to get in the spirit of the concert. Now, if you think you know what concert I'm going to, please leave it in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. But before I go, I just thought I'd go over a little scripture study with you. And uh, it's like the middle of the year, the middle of the Old Testament. And, you know, I start to get a little lost in the middle of the Old Testament. I, I don't know who's who. I don't know where we are. I don't know what year it is. I just don't know. So we start off with, you. we got Adam and Eve. I'm good with that. Then we've got my favorite. We got Noah with those cute little cougars. Where's the cougars? There they are. Look at those cute little cougars. And then, oh, Noah. Oh, this one's Moses. Sometimes I get them mixed up. This is Moses. So then I start to get a little confused. So I thought what I would do is take a minute to show you how I remember where everything is in the Old Testament. I hope you'll stick around. Even if you're going to a concert, there's always time to fit in a little scripture study. I'm Marcy. This is Solid Gold Scripture Journals. It's a place where I share ways for us to study our scriptures so that we can find peace in Christ and gain scripture confidence. This is a chart that I got from Deland and Butler, and I use it all the time, and it really helps me know where are we in the Old Testament right now. I hope this is helpful for you. I hope I don't leave anything out. So we're starting with the creation, the flood, the Tower of Babel. Then we've got Abraham, his son Isaac, Isaac's son Jacob. When Jacob covenanted with God, he changed his name. Do you remember that? He changed his name to Israel. So when we talk about the kingdom of Israel, or the children of Israel, we are talking about the children of this man here, who was Jacob, and now he's Israel. He was a father of 12 sons, and each of his son was the head of a tribe. So there were 12 tribes. So when we talk about 12 tribes of Israel, this is where it started. Jacob's birthright son was Joseph, and Joseph was sold into slavery into Egypt. And while he was there, he worked his way up and became number two, the guy right after Pharaoh. And in Canaan, Israel and the 12 tribes, they were starving. And so they were able to go to Egypt and have food and all the things there. They stayed in Egypt and the Israelites or the children of Israel became too powerful. So further along, another Pharaoh put them into slavery. So they were in bondage. And remember, Moses was the one that took them out of bondage. They wandered in the wilderness, came to Mount Sinai, found the Ten Commandments, wandered some more until eventually they crossed the River Jordan and headed into the Promised Land. This represents the city of Jericho. And there were 12 tribes and they were led by judges and things started off great. But eventually they noticed that the other people around them had kings and they wanted a king too. And God didn't think it was a good idea, but he let them have kings. So all of the 12 tribes of Israel became one kingdom of Israel. They were no longer living as separate tribes. And the kingdom had a king and his name was Saul. He fell from grace. The next king was David. The next king was David's son, Solomon. And things, you know, they just weren't going as well. The children of Israel were forgetting their God and they wanted to be like everyone else. So by the time Solomon's son, Big R, Rehoboam, became the king, the children of Israel weren't enjoying being one kingdom anymore and they went back into being the 12 tribes. And as they were those 12 tribes, two of them stayed with Rehoboam 
in the south and became the kingdom of Judah. The rest of the tribes of Israel, the 10 of them, they went to the north. Their king was named Jeroboam and they became the kingdom of Israel. The first thing Jeroboam did was make idols. He made calves, uh, idols for the people to worship. So needless to say, the people turned away from God and God wasn't really there for the people. So this kingdom of Israel over the years had 19 different rulers and all of them were wicked and eventually they were taken away captive by the Assyrians and we don't know where they are. And that's why we say we want to gather Israel. We're gathering back those 10 tribes of Israel, 10 out of the 12 tribes of Israel. Now the two tribes of Israel that stayed in the south with Rehoboam, they had some righteous rulers. Out of 20 rulers over the years, eight of them were righteous, but eventually they were also taken away into captivity, except for the city of Jerusalem, which was miraculously preserved. There's a little bit more that happens, but for now, for this week, we are in 2 Kings 17 to 25. We're in the portion here with all these different kings of the kingdom of Israel, of the kingdom of Judah, and we'll just see what happens from there. I hope that is helpful for you as you study your Come Follow Me lesson this week. And I hope you are able to find what you need from your scripture study today. There it is. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.